I think Fred Ballou tells the story of uh, the, uh, the year without Christmas. We went to the short course championships in, uh, uh, in uh, uh, one of the Nordic countries up north. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we had the European short course. It was, not, it was uh, 2007. And I said to the coaches on the last day of competition, do you want to be on the Olympic team in 2008? If you do, ring your family and tell them you're not coming home for Christmas. I've got your flights cancelled until the 1st of January. We're going to stay here for a week and plan the Olympics. I need your support. I need you to be, but I can't give you Christmas off. Wow. You have to have Christmas away. I want to see who could and who couldn't. Yeah. So I want you to bring your family. Fred Manu said it was the toughest thing he's ever had to do to ring his wife and daughter and say, I'm not coming home for Christmas. Mm. We're having a clinic here. And it, of course, it got everybody's attention. Everybody wanted to listen. And uh, Ben Titley, who was irritated by this, arrived the first day of the meeting after he thought he was going home an hour late. And the, and the girl that was running it, she said, now, we're not doing anything until everybody's here. And, of course, Ben arrives about an hour late, and she said to everybody, okay, come and get me when he arrives, which he did. She said, now, coaches, you've been sitting here for an hour waiting for Ben. What's the consequence of his arrogance of not coming to the meeting on time? There's 11 people in this room, plus myself. That's 12 hours of wasted time. Yeah. Now, Ben, what are you going to do? So Ben had to face the consequence. And that was the first lesson that we learned, or that, that coaches learned, I learned as well, of the situation. So I think you say, oh, what people said to me, oh, you couldn't do that again now. I think, yes, you can. If you want something bad enough, there's always a price to pay. So the price has to be equal to the reward.